Okay, this is a tutorial video that's going to show you how to um, set up a user account with Rockwell Automation so that you can download software. Um, I'll show you how to get to their website where you would click to start to, um, to set up your user account with them and then how to download software. The software is going to be free. I'm just going to go through just a, an example of how to download one software package. Okay. So I'm going to do a screen share. Okay. Now you, um, you're going to click on your Google Chrome uh, web browser. And you're going to type in www.ab.com. That's www.the letter A B.com. And it can all be lowercase. So www.ab.com. And that's for alanbradley.com. And hit enter. And it redirects you to the Rockwell Automation slash Alan Bradley uh, homepage. So here where it says downloads right in the center, you want to click, do a left click right on downloads. And you are looking at uh, the main screen that you're going to be working with for downloading a few packages. And it's called compatibility and downloads. So you'll scroll down just a little bit here. And look really good here. You want to you want to go where it says under download, real small. It says software downloads by serial number. Um, by now you should have received a serial number from me. That's going to be specific for you. I will assign uh, serial numbers for each student in the class, and you cannot interchange them because there are uh, twenty installs that we've been granted by Rockwell and you cannot be interchanging numbers. Um, that would cause, it would uh, prevent someone else from being, being able to uh, download software. So you click software downloads by serial number. And if, if it's your first time logging on to their site, then you're a new user. So you're gonna hit create an account, go through that process. Um, and you're going to have to use your 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 uh, Samson Community College email address. Be very specific about that. Don't use uh, Gmail or anything like that. Don't use personal email, but use your your college uh, email and create a password of your own. And then once that's done, as you see on the left side of the screen, my email is already in, and they saved my password. So. Uh, I'm going to click sign in, but again, you got to go through, create your account, then you come back out and, and then sign in. The next page is very important. It's going to, it's, um, it's going to do a software entitlement check to see, are you entitled to get software, which you are, um, cause we've been blessed, uh, with Rockwell to give us 90 day access to this, uh, really valuable software that you're going to you have an opportunity to learn. So here, um, I'm going to put my serial number and my key in. You can't use mine. You're going to have to use yours because mine, of course, is not going to work with you. So um, let me get mine out. And again, don't attempt to use these numbers because they're not going to work for you. Um, you're going to check your email. You need to be checking email every day uh, for updates from me and the college about things uh, while we're online. And um, you're going to get a specific, a specific serial number and product key that is just for you alone. Okay. So I'm putting mine in. And again, do not use these numbers. Don't think it has. So. Okay. And see, it remembers what I had put in there from a previous download. So 
once you do a download and you go back in to do your next download for another package, as soon as you start typing in the box, it's going to pull those numbers right back up, um, assuming that that's what you want to use again, and you will use the same serial number and same product key for every package uh, for your software entitlement check. So this is just something that's going to be the same on everything uh, that, that says you're entitled to get software. So once those are in and you double check, um, make sure you have uppercase in everything for uh, for your um, product key. There's no lowercase in there. And make sure everything's exactly right. And then hit next. And then this page here will show up download instructions. And under here, you're going to see something that says Pico GFX programming. Now, that's not what you're interested in. Don't pay any attention to that. You're simply going to type in um, the type of uh, software package that you're looking for and then do a search. Now, over here where it says you can search by catalog number or by description, right under version, you want to you click description. That's the best way to search for it. And what I'm the, the, the package I'm going to download is actually going to be the second package that you download. First, you will download Studio 5000 version 32. And then you, I've already just I've already done it on mine. You're going to see me download the uh, the Studio 5000 emulator, which is what lets you run the programs that you, cre that you create and run them like a virtual PLC. So. I'm going to search for the uh, for the emulator, and um, so I'm going to start typing in uh, Studio 5000. You just type the words in Studio 5000, and you see that it has like for you for your first time. You're actually going to choose the one I'm highlighting now. It says Studio 5000 Pro. EN, the EN is for English. If you choose IT, that's going to be uh, probably uh, Italian, I believe. Or um, they got different languages in here. Or it may not be that. Um, hold on. Let's go back in here. The one you want is EN, and I know that's for English. Uh, Studio 5000 Pro EN, formerly RS Logics. Uh, it used to be called RS Logics 5000, and then they changed the name. It's playing games on me here. It's, it, it's kind of hyper. But the uh, the one again, the, your first one is going to be that one right there, and you would click that. But I, I've already I've already downloaded it on mine, so you're going to need to. Um, well, actually, I could just kind of go through the motion with you on this one, but not actually download. So for you on your first one, you would you would you would choose that, and you double check it to make sure it's Studio Five Thousand Pro EN for English, formerly RS Logics, and um, and then you would come over, and where it says version thirty two, that is the newest one. That's going to be the one you're going to click, and then under the download now, you would click there. And it, then there would be various uh, numerous things you got to do after that, but I'm not going to download that one. I've already got it on, on my laptop. I'm going to look for look for the emulator. So up here, it says Studio 5000 Logic Emulate, and that's the one that will be your second package you download. So I'm going to click that, and you double check it, Studio 5000 Logic Emulate software, and then version 32, it has to match the same version of your Studio 5032. Here it's got the download size, 969.5 uh, megabytes, so it's almost a gigabyte, um, and that's actually in a compressed form. Once once you download it and it begins to extract, it's going to use more memory than that. So you got to have you need to have plenty of spare room on your hard drive so that you won't run out during an install because that's that's a bad thing if that happens. 
um, if you run out of memory and then you're scrambling trying to clear memory, um, things could possibly go wrong. Um, so before you download, have all the spare memory you can possibly get on, on your on your hard drive. So um, once you see the correct software there and the correct version, then the little download now, you click that. And then you see a software, a, a license agreement. Now you want to scroll, come way over here on the right side of the screen, all the way over to the edge of your monitor and hit that down arrow and go down. And um, hold on, what happened there? What went wrong? I, forget, I think it went, let's see. Uh, something with my mouse kind of went uh, haywire there. Let me try this again. Hit the download. And then you want to scroll down and hit accept. Now they're preparing to download and then, and then you want to choose a managed download. Don't choose direct download. This thing, it was very quick, quick on the trigger. You choose a manage download. And then by you doing that, if something happens to get interrupted during your download, then it will, it will resume after, let's, let's say if you lose the internet connection or the power goes out, then once, once you, your internet is restored, it will pick up from where it left off if you do a managed download. So that, that's really the only secure way to do it. Um, so then, um, if you notice down here in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, it shows a, a executable file that it downloaded, and it's in your download folder on your computer. So it says .exe. Now, you want to you wanna click the arrow right beside of the .exe file, and you want to move up to where it says Show in Folder. And now it, it has highlighted the executable uh, file that it just downloaded this. That what this is, is this file is a download manager. So when I double click it, it's an it's a, it's a executable. When I double click it, double left click, it's going to run a automated download manager that's going to download that package that I'm ask, asking for. So double left click on that specific one. And now you see it's initializing and it's saying there's gonna be uh, 54 minutes remaining, okay? So instead of you having to watch me for this entire time, I'm going to pause the recording. I'll pause the recording. It's actually saying 66 minutes, 67 minutes. 79 minutes. So it, it's calculating. It's going to be a long, long download. So on this recording that you're seeing, I'm going to hit the pause button. And when the download is is at a hundred percent, I'll cut the I'll cut the recording back on so you can see the next steps. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty long. Now the first package, the, the Studio Five Thousand, it was a very large package also, and it was it was uh, it was around an hour. Um, maybe a little longer. This one here looks like it's going to be about an hour and a half to download the emulator, uh, which I'm surprised it's that long. And it may shorten up as it runs. Some things are that way that whenever they start downloading, that as kind of as it runs, that it may speed up. So it may not be really that long.
but when you start it, make sure you've got time um, to spot check it um, because there will be other things you have to do once it hits 100%. There are several other things you got to click and do to really finalize the installation. This is only a download. It's going to be put in a download folder on, in your in your download folder, <laughs> so that you'll have to run afterwards for a real install. So. Um, I'm going to stop screen share and then hit pause on the recording to get back to my recording button. Let's see, actually. Stop screen share. Now again, if you're watching by, by watching recording, you're going to, there, there'll be a, you know, when it comes back on, you'll see it at hundred percent. So it's going to be a while. I'll uh, keep you from having to wait. So stop share and pause recording. Okay, so I'm back recording again. And as you can see on the screen, the process has got uh, five more minutes to go. And it really hasn't been an hour and a half. Like it said, it wasn't that long. Um, much shorter than that because it really all depends on the, the download speed from the Rockwell site. You know, your internet connection plus the speed in which it's downloaded from the Rockwell website. So, you know, it's not just depending on your internet speed, but it's depending on, you know, their system too. So, um, and I've seen that speed change a lot. Earlier, it was just a, just a few kilobytes per second. Now it's like 450 something kilobytes per second on download. And so, so it has speeded up a lot for whatever reason. Now notice way down here under the green bar where it says download folder. Now where it's, where it's downloading this um, large package to, which is your whole package, uh, for the emulator, it's under your C drive, under the root directory of the C drive. And then there's a folder called, called RA, that's for Rockwell Automation. So once this is completed in roughly four minutes, it'll say 100% where it says 85.8 now. Once it says 100%, then we're gonna um, X out of this. And we're going to go look on our hard drive under the C root directory and look at a folder called RA, Rockwell Automation. We'll double click that and get inside. And then there's going to be, then we got to search in another folder and find a, uh, another, well, a, 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 uh, a setup file where it will actually set up itself and um, extract all of these compressed files and install them on your computer. So, um, so there's there's a lot of steps to this, and that's why I'm making a, a video of, of actually doing it because it's just really too much stuff to try to put in a document. It'd be hard to follow on paper. So, video is a lot better. So, another five minutes. So. Um, The initial, the initial download, when it downloaded the first thing a, a while ago, it downloaded a, 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 it downloaded a download manager into your download folder. So the first place you go once you download from their site is going to be into your download folder, not, not the C root directory, but your, your regular download folder where everything downloads to off the internet, like, like, like we did. And you simply, it's a .exe executable, so you would just double click on that one. And then, it, and then it's doing what you're seeing now in the green bar. So it's downloading uh, the entire Studio 5000 emulator package, which is uh, 969.5 megabytes. It's almost a gigabyte, it's pretty big. And that's also, that's actually compressed. 
So once it, once we go to uh, when we uh, find the uh, the setup f uh, file for it to run, it's gonna um, extract all of those, and it's gonna be bigger than that. So um, three minutes left to go, so it's almost time. Ninety one percent. And again, um, when we chose between manage download or direct download, don't choose direct download. Choose manage download. And then if your, inter if your internet gets interrupted like mine did earlier when I did my, my um, Studio 5000 package, the regular uh, PLC software package, my internet got interrupted momentarily. And I just sit here and watch the screen and it, after a minute, you know, a second or two, it, it retried by itself and it kept on going. So even if it interrupts, don't mess with it. Don't touch it. Just let it, let it kind of resume on its own. Cause it, it, it'll try to, it will, it will attempt to, uh, to resume if something goes wrong. Okay, I'm going to pause it again so you're not having to wait another another few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording. Okay, I started the process back, and now it says on the green bar that says it's processing the application. And uh, now it says download is complete. So and I just realized I didn't have the screen share on right now. Let me cut screen share back on. Okay, so now um I didn't have the screen share on just a while ago for the last little bit I was saying. I didn't realize I didn't have it on. But uh, anyway, it's on now. And so you saw the beginnings of how, how we started the process to download this um, by going down in the download folder down in here, clicking on, double-clicking that executable file, and then it started the process on this green bar here. Started out saying it was going to be an hour and a half, but it was really only really uh, maybe a little over a half hour. That was all. So it speeds up usually at, at different points and it gets faster. So um, now what it just downloaded is a really big folder. It's going to be in the root directory here in your, in your download folder. The download folder will be in on your C drive. The C drive, which is the hard drive, the root directory on the hard drive in a folder called RA for Rockwell Automation. So here, excuse me, you make sure that it says download complete. And before it said complete, it said processing. Even when it said 100%, it said processing application. Let it finish. Don't interrupt anything. If you do, it's there's no telling. Uh, it, uh, files could get corrupted and you may have to just, you know, start all over again or you know uninstall and restart again so um so it's complete we hit close and again you you we have to know where are we going to go next we're going next we're going to go under the c directory c uh root directory ra folder so you got to remember that it's giving us these little clues what i'm looking at now is my regular download folder if you see up here, I'm looking at a regular download folder in which the first the first file that sent down as an activation as a download manager, it put it in my down download folder quote. But the software package is now in the C drive root directory under um, RA. So um, you can click back on C drive. in that path up here and I just clicked the C drive and now it took me back further 
this is what they call the root directory where a lot of your Windows things are stored for uh, Windows, Windows operating system. So RA, you double click in there. And this is the package that it downloaded. It says Studio 5000 Logic Emulate. Now, before I did this one, I had downloaded Studio 5000, which is the PLC Logic program that you actually create programs with, download into a PLC and so forth and troubleshoot. The emulator is going to be something that's going to take the place of a real PLC on your computer. So once you use Studio 5000 to create the logic programs, you'll download them from Studio 5000 into the, into the emulator program. And the emulator program is going to mimic, it's going to try to act like a hardware piece of a hardware PLC. So anyway, so our next step is we go inside of the emulate folder and we're going to look for a setup, a setup file that's going to do an automatic setup. But you have to trigger this stuff by hand. It doesn't happen automatic. So we're going to go into the emulate folder. And now it says version 32 Studio 5000 Logic Emulate. Double click in there. And let's search down for, it's not activation EXE. Let's, let's search on down some, scroll on down. Once it downloads a large package like the emulator or the Studio 5000 software itself, then you, you go into that, that large folder in your C drive RA folder, and then you keep clicking in until you find a, a file that says setup.exe. Setup.exe is an executable setup file. You will double click that, and then it's going to start the extraction process of extracting all of these uh, compressed files and installing them on your computer. So again, you, you, this takes opening folders and digging and finding um, to, to install this. This is not an automatic deal by no means. So, um, and that's just standard, standard procedure with Rockwell. So we're going to double click setup.exe. And it says um, version 32 emulate install now. Now I'm not going to customize. I'm just going to install now. Now on the regular Studio 5 uh, on the regular Studio 5000 uh, when I installed it, it didn't say install now. It just said customize, and I had to go in there. But when you go in there, don't don't modify anything. Just tell it go ahead and install. It's going to have certain things check marked by default don't modify anything on a standard setup um so but here with the emulate it it, it is just giving me another icon just in, to install now but again on the studio 5000 package it didn't give me that it just gave me a uh, customize and i had to press it and i did and then once i got in there certain things were checked and certain things were not i just left all that along i said go ahead and just uh install so so we hit install now, and now it's saying it's zero percent, four percent. So it's actually doing it mighty, ooh, very fast. This is like way faster install. And now it's automatically registering electronic data sheets that it uses in the software. Okay. Now, um, as far as activation, um, my computer has already been activated, um, and I'll have to make a separate video for how you would um, in how you would actually uh, do the activation uh, process. Um, so let's leave that for a separate video. That would be the very last thing. You know, once we make sure this is installed, um, then I'm going to end this recording and I'll make a separate recording um, for specifically where after, you, after your packages are installed, you will go into the 
Factory Talk Activation Manager, which is FTA Manager, that's already installed with this. this when you get this, then you're getting the, the, the Factory Talk Activation Manager's already been installed automatic. So you're gonna go in and put the serial number and the um, activation key in there manually. Um, and then your software will, will run uh, for, for 90 days. So, um, okay. So activate the computer. Mine's already been done. We're gonna say skip activation cause again, it's not necessary on mine, it's already been done. It says it's been successfully modified and uh, close. Okay, so at this point, um, it has extracted those files. And now we've got to find the file that's actually going to run the software and uh, create a shortcut to your desktop. Okay, so, so let's see. It's not going to be in, in this folder here. Uh, for now, where, it, where it, it has installed it to is going to be now in your program files. So we're going to get out of this root directory uh, thing here. And let's see. So I'm going to close this screen here. And I'm going to close the Rockwell screen because we, we're not going to need that right now and close this one. So you should be seeing my uh, blue desktop now. So at this point, we've got to go in the program files and um, where everything was extracted to. So you go hit your bottom left icon here for start. And you got to scroll down to where it says, now see my, this mouse is so hyper that this is a new computer and it is so hyper on the mouse, it's just crazy. So you go under your start and you got to scroll down to where it says um, Rockwell automation. You see it's doing, the mouse is, is like very hypersensitive. The mouse pad is, so it's, 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 it's acting too quickly. Um, actually, actually it automatically put the studio 5,000 emulate on the desktop for me. So that, that was nice that it did that, um, earlier when I had installed the regular studio 5,000 package, the salt, the, uh, the PLC software package, you know, it didn't automatically put an icon out there for me and I had to go, um, go in program files and then put it, put it out there. But this is the emulator. We can go ahead and click it. And that's just showing you a blank emulator that has not been set up or programmed or, or linked to a program yet. So that's just a blank emulator showing on the screen there. So Studio 5000 Logic Emulate, it's just a picture of a PLC rack. And um, I'm gonna X out of there. We know it's there. Now I'm going to show you how, where, where the software is. Uh, these are just shortcuts right here. And that shortcut there and this shortcut there, I'm going to move this one over here. So I've got the Studio 5000 where you create the logic programs here and then the, the emulator. Uh, you know, you, these two work together to actually see a program uh, simulate. Um, so where these are actually stored, these are just shortcuts. When you click these, they're actually stored, you go back down to the bottom left. And um, hit start. And then you would go to your bar and drag down until you see Rockwell. Rockwell software, and you would expand, uh, click that, that drop down and then scroll down further. Hold on. It lost it. So this, this mouse is just way too hyper. 
see it loses that. It's it's on. Let's see. Let's go out. This is all the Rockwell software that was put in. So right here where you see Studio 5000 with that blue globe there, that's where I had, I just drugged that out and I see it's trying to run it. This, this, this computer, this new computer is way too quick on the trigger. That's where it's opening up Studio 5000 there. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back in there. Um, but this mouse pad on this computer about drives me nuts, okay. Um, it's not like the, uh, the Dale, the Dale was like not anywhere near as sensitive. This is a Lenovo. It's a nice computer, but it's just crazy how sensitive it is. Go back to Rockwell, open that up. And then, um, you scroll down within all the Rockwell software that's been installed. I've installed quite a, a few different packages that you're not particularly going to download. Okay, but the two main ones you're gonna work with, the newest ones are gonna be Studio 5000 and then the Emulate right there. And they're stored you know, under the start menu under your program files. That's when they get extracted, that's where they end up at. So that way you know kind of where things start from download through the process of, um, of um, extracting and all of that. And I'm showing you where things are. And once you, and see, it's actually <laughs> it. Uh, this mouse is just is triggering things. It's crazy. Close that back out. But from where we were a while ago, you know, you can you can drag those icons. You can drag the icons out to your desktop, and then you'll have the shortcuts. Basically, is what I was saying. Um, so I just do a little quick little run through like that again. Go down, and if it doesn't mess up on me, Rockwell software. Drag on down. And for instance, if you were going to drag the Studio 5000, you hold your mouse and bring it out there like that and let go, and you have and you have a, a shortcut, okay? And again, go again. That's a second shortcut I'm going to get rid of. I don't need but one. But go out here. And uh, drag down to Rockwell. Open that up, drag down to um, it. See, it's, it's triggered some other package now that I don't need. That's something for control net. Let's try one more time with my hyperactive mouse. Okay, Rockwell, on down. And there goes your emulator. I'm gonna drag the emulator out here. And it did it for me automatic, but there goes another one, see? That's how you would do it if you had to do it manually. I had to do the, the studio one uh, 5000 manually, and then the emulator happened on its own. But you see it says two, and uh, these are like extra ones. So we don't need we don't need these extra ones out here. I'm just showing you how it's done and where it's done from. So I'm just going to delete these shortcuts. These are only shortcuts. You're not deleting software. It's only a shortcut. You know, I've got the actual icons here. And uh, when you go to double click them out here, then it's going to launch it uh, from, uh, from your program files in there. So that's, that's what the, the, uh, the uh, opening screen looks like for Studio 5000 and then the emulator the opening screen looks like a PLC rack with some modules. So anyway, that's enough for this video. We're going to close this out. I'm going to stop uh, screen share. And we're going to end this, end this one. So um, the, and, and I, so you, you will need to download the studio 5,000 and I, I will help you, uh, if you can actually start doing it during our live session starting Tuesday night, 
and um, you can actually download the software while we're in our session and I can guide you and we can do a screen share. I can, I can allow you to screen share with me. And if you kind of get lost, then I can see where you are and I can tell you exactly what to, what to click if you need help. So it's, it's best if you do it while we're in our, in our live sessions on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. So, um, okay, so I'm going to stop recording and thank you for watching and uh, y'all have a, a blessed evening. Thank you.